Okay, while we're waiting to get started, I'll just, I'll just get you to say hi so that I, I know that you can hear me. And so, so then we can just get started and then, then we're just going to do it. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to build a multi-million dollar property portfolio. And that's without having to risk you know, everything you've worked so hard for. You know, I've probably got about three hours of content and I'm, I'm going to try and cram it into 60 minutes. So I'll try and cover everything I can, but some things we may be able to go through in more detail than others. So here's what you're going to learn. You know, we're going to start with where you are right now. I mean, really understand what it is that got us to where we are and, and what that means for getting us to the next stage. Then we're going to discuss the importance of educating ourselves. And then you know, what we need to know to get to where we want to go. We then examine our options based on you know, where we are right now and our, our level of knowledge and experience. And then we decide on a direction and the best way to get from point A to point B in the shortest possible time without, you know, with the least amount of risk. And once we have a clear understanding of, of where we are and, and how we're going to get there, then, then we look at how we're going to put it into action. You know, nothing, nothing's perfect, when, especially when you're just starting out. So, so we discussed how to refine our strategy and, and adapt it to ensure that the, you know, the process is as easy as possible. And once you get to start, you know, once you start to get some runs on the board, you, you then begin to build a team around you and they can, they can support and guide you, you know, through your journey. And this is, you know, this is really the sweet spot. You know, where you know, you know where you are, you know where you're going, you've educated yourself, and then you can take action to, to get towards your goals. It's at, it's at this point that we have knowledge, you know, not just theory, but practical experience. And, you know, and then we can draw upon that then to, to minimize our risk and, you know, this allows us to, to make greater returns. And once we've mastered one strategy, then we can then branch out to include other strategies. You know, with, with, with repetition, and you know, we can then we can focus on expanding and, and adapting our strategy to, to build momentum to finally achieve our end goal. You know, finally, finally after I've taught you a ton of stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the opportunity to join my program. But the first First thing to know is that I do get really excited about talking about property and I, I talk really fast. So hopefully you're okay with that. So I can see a few, few of your names and I can see a few of you jumping in on the last minute and that's, you yeah, that's fantastic. So, so, so I talk really fast, but I, I really just, you know, it's really just because I'm super passionate about what I'm talking about. Yeah. During the presentation, well, this is the first time that I've done this, but um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really sure whether I'm going to do it again at, it feels a little bit like I'm giving away my secret sauce, you know? So, so take a ton of notes and I haven't really decided yet whether I'm going to give a copy of the presentation afterwards, but if you hang around until you know, the very end, then I'm, I'm going to tell you how you can get a copy of all the slides. You know, if you're at the end, just, you need, just need to ask me and I'll, I'll make sure you get a copy. So who am I? Well, I'm an international number one best-selling author. I'm a speaker, a, a property developer, a real estate agent, a, a mortgage broker. I used to be an accountant, and most importantly, I'm I'm a dad to two amazing boys, Miles and Carly. You know, I've just I've just seen a few more of you join, so thanks guys for joining. And it, is it okay just for today for this webinar? Is it okay if you just pretend that I'm just sitting there next to you and you know you talk and and make comments and and give me feedback? Otherwise, you know, otherwise I'm going to feel like I'm just you know talking to a computer screen. Is that is that okay? Okay, great. Thanks. So before, before we start, I just want to ask you, you know, what do you, what do you want to learn from this presentation? You know, what are your goals? You know, is it, you know, what's your plans for retirement? Or, or what's your biggest problem? You know, is it, is it you want to work less or, or you want to set yourself up for retirement or, or you just want to spend more time with your family? You know, which, which one is it? The reason I'm asking this is, is I can tailor the presentation to, to maybe answer some of these issues. So I want to ask you, I want to, you know, what are you, what are you looking forward to most today? Yeah, I want, I want you to know that today I have one big goal. After today, I want you to come away with a clear understanding of, of what it takes to be able to build a multi-million dollar property portfolio without having to risk everything you've worked so hard for. And I really want you to be able to achieve it. You know, I know that, I know that some of you listening, you may have gotten to the point in your life where you just don't think it's possible for you. But I want you to understand that you can do this. That every, every single one of you out there, you can have the lifestyle you want, 
and set yourself up for retirement and, and take back your life. You know, after all these years of helping people with their, with their properties, I began to realize that you know, although, although most people are initially focused on the money, you know, it's rarely about the money. I mean, I mean, why are you doing this anyway? And usually, usually when I ask this question, you know, it's not about the money, but what the money can do for their lives. You know, in a perfect world where, where money wasn't an issue, you know, what would that world look like? You know, would it be a, a new house, a, a new car, or a new boat, or, you know, or just no debt? You know, how much do you need to make that a reality? But for most people, you know, it's, it's about something that's beyond value. It's about living the lifestyle they've always wanted. You know, less stress or more quality time, doing, doing what they want to do when they want to do it. You know, sport, hobbies, or, or, or just hanging out with their friends and family. You know, without having in the back of their mind, you know, can you really afford this? We've got ourselves caught in this cycle where, where the more we work you know, and the more we achieve, you know, the less time we have to enjoy everything we've worked so hard for. Can you remember when, you know, when you're in your late teens or early twenties, it was if you could do you know, whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. It seems as if you could, you know, if you had plenty of time and, and plenty of choices, but, but as we get older, you know, rather than gaining more and more independence, it's just, it feels as if all we do is work and sleep. What would you say if I said that, you know, there's a proven method for creating wealth. So you can work less and earn more and create passive income to set yourself up for retirement. I'm talking about developing a plan to get you from where you are right now to where you want to be. You know, to get there, you need to be clear on, on what this new life looks like. You know, what hours do you want to work? You know, what time do you want to start and finish? You know, are, are you balancing a family? You know, do, you, do you want to go travel? You know, literally designing our plan around what we want and how we want to get there. And the last thing, you know, the last thing is contribution. How can we give back? For many people that's asking ourselves, you know, how can I give back to my family or, or how can I give back to my community? Some people like to go to church or, or volunteer or help the homeless. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm talking about designing your future around these three things so, so you can live the life you want on the terms that suit you, so you can contribute. So my promise to you is this. I'm gonna show you there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And, and show you how you can go from you know, just getting by to being in control of your own destiny. So you can do what you want, when you want, and set your family up for, you know, set them up for the lifestyle they deserve. So before I start, I just wanna just want to know whether this sounds like you. And if it does, I want you to write in the chat box, okay? So does it, seem, does it seem to you if everyone else is lucky? You know, there's just no way that you can make money from property. Or maybe, you know, what happens if it all goes wrong and, and I lose everything? You know, I can't afford to start again, but I'm worried that if I, if I don't do anything, you know, I won't have enough money for retirement. Or maybe, you know, I know it's possible, but for years I've been researching and investigating and analyzing up to the point it's, you know, it's become overwhelming and I've done nothing. Or do you feel like it's too late? Like you've missed your chance to profit from property. If only I'd done it five years ago or, or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, you know, it's gone. There's just, there's just not any profit to be made from property anymore. You know, I've missed the boat. I want you to know that none of these things are the real problem. The real problem is you just don't know the system yet. You don't know the step-by-step -step system to identify the hidden value in your property and, and how to extract it. Once you do know how to do it, you're going to wonder, you know, why isn't everybody doing it? You know, you'll be able to see how to create value in property everywhere you go. It, it almost feel like a game where you have an unfair advantage. But the one thing you need to know is successful property investors, they, they don't depend on luck or chance. You know, they have a system for creating value from property and leveraging that value to create more value. The power of property is, you know, it's once you build a strong foundation to work from, you know, the, mem the momentum starts to build and then your success becomes inevitable. You know, every decision we make must be compared against our key goals for, for income, lifestyle, and contribution. You know, how can we earn the money that we want on the terms that, 
that sued us so so we can contribute back so i just want to start with you know why you should listen to me you know since since quitting my job as an accountant i not only been involved in thousands of property transactions and, and hundreds of developments but over the years i've i've collected a heap of skills including you know my mortgage broker's license my my real estate license and and a builder's license but you know this has put me this has put me in a really unique position that i can give advice on just about anything to do with property and every day now i get clients such as such as joanne who came to me with a property that you know they knew they had development potential they just they just weren't sure the best way to realize it you know, after years of unsuccessfully trying to profit they just they just weren't sure what to do so i assessed their property and i I explained how I could help them develop their property and make over nine hundred thousand dollars in profit. You know, we're now just waiting on the subdivision to go through. Or another example was, you know, just four weeks after talking to Josh, he was over a hundred thousand dollars richer, and it only took about five hours of his time. Or well, Craig, he had, you know, Craig had money to invest, but he just wasn't sure. You know, he just wanted to make sure he did it right. You know, we so we analysed his development and. and we showed him how we can make $130,000 profit without having to risk at all. Now, I know for some of you, you know, this, this barely seems possible, but I, I can show you hundreds of examples where I've helped clients to achieve their goals. But I want you to know that, you know, I didn't start out with this knowledge and experience. One of the reasons that I do what I do and, and why I write books and, and present to people is because I don't want you to go down the same path that I've been down because I don't, I know now that there's an easier way. You know, it doesn't take 12 years of trial and error to get there. For me, you know, my journey started after years of working as an accountant. One day, you know, I read an article about how much money you need to set yourself up for retirement. It said that in retirement, you need 70% of your pre-retirement income. And so I started doing the numbers and I realized that if I was on hundred grand a year, then I'd need $70,000 a year in retirement. So if I was so if I was going to retire at 65 and die when I was 85, then I need 20 years times by $70,000 per year, which is $1.4 million. And then I started to think, how am I going to get $1.4 million when I want to retire? So I started looking at my options and, you know, and to save my, you know, if I wanted to save money through my super, but I just realized that, you know, that wasn't going to happen because earning a hundred thousand dollars per year, you know, I had to live on bread and water for the next 30 years just to, just to be able to afford to retire. And when you think about it, by the time you pay your bills and, and pay your mortgage, you, you're really only just covering the day-to-day costs of living, living let, alone, you know, let alone setting yourself up for retirement. I, you know, one day I said to myself, you know, why am I doing this? You know, it got to the point where I felt like I was, I was only going to work for the money. I thought, you know, that, there has to be a better way. I mean, life, life should be for living, not for working. How could, I, how could I get the lifestyle that I've always wanted? You know, I wanted less stress and more quality time doing, you know, doing what I want and, and when I want to do it. It seems, it seems as if I'd, I never had enough time to do the things I wanted, whether I was playing sport or hobbies or, or just hanging out with friends and families. I could always hear in the back of my head, you know, can I afford this? So I decided that for me, the solution would be property. You know, I looked around for an opportunity and when I saw it, I, I jumped in head first. My first property was, a, it was an old house on a big block with, it had development and potential for eight houses. You know, with my limited funds and, and no experience, it was, a, you know, it was a high stakes game. But, but for luckily, you know, luckily for me, it paid off. You know, and then this experience then gave me the confidence to start sourcing more properties and, and building and renovating and, and subdividing into one and two and three and four blocks. But but in reality, I just left my secure job as an accountant, supposedly for less stress and set myself up for retirement. But instead I was just taking these massive risks. And I just kept, I just kept taking massive risks. You know, every, time I, every time I did a development, I, just, I risked it all. You know, it's now looking back with years of experience, I realized just, just how lucky I was that in those first few years, you know, I got out a few close calls, you know, particularly, particularly after the GFC hit and all the rules of the game changed. You know, many of my friends who were far more experienced and, and cashed up than me, you know, they lost it all. You know, I wish I had someone to reach out to me you know, and said to me, I, you know, I, wanted to, I wanted to show me how, you know, step by step, how to create value from property yeah, and then build on it 
not only to set myself up, but to set my family up for the future. You know, the future we deserve without, without all the stress of having to risk it all. You know, I wish I had someone who found me and told me you know, how I could do it. Then I wouldn't have had to spend, you know, 12 years of trying to work it out on its own. Now, after all these years and, and being involved with thousands of property transactions, I can look back now and know, you know, it doesn't have to be as difficult as I've made it out to be. And you, you don't have to risk it all to make it happen. The secret, the secret to achieving success through property is, is simple when it comes down to two things. First, first, you need to identify undervalued properties and then you need to extract that value. And once you've done it once, you can do it again and again and again. So today I'm, I'm committed to giving you value so, so you can go through both how to identify undervalued properties and how to pull this value out so you can go away with a clear plan to, to getting from where you are right now to where you want to be. The first thing to realize is that you know, properties are undervalued for several reasons and they can be undervalued in both the short term and the long term. So what do I mean by that? Though, to create value from property, you can either you know, renovate to increase the value of property or you can you know, build to create a property or we can develop to multiply the property or you can just buy and hold and, and wait for the market to go up. Or you can do a combination of any or all of these options. But what most people don't understand is that the first three options are only, you know, they're only short term strategies and that you know, they're focused on generating returns as quickly as possible. Whilst the buy and hold strategy is all about stretching out the length of the investment for, for as long as possible to write out the, the ups and downs of the property cycle and then you know, reap the benefits of long term growth. This is why it's vitally important to determine what you have to work with and how much time you have to make it happen before you start. Because this will determine your best path to you know, to really achieve your goals. What you've got to work with before you start is gonna have a massive impact on, on where, where you can get to and, and how you're gonna get there. Now, your starting point will be determined by, by four factors. You know, your, your assets, you're not, just, not just what you have on paper, but what you have to work with. You know, is that cash or your house or investment property or your car, your super? You know, although these are considered assets, they're all very different. You know, they each need to be considered individually when considering your options. And secondly is your debts. You know, not just, not just your debt, but the type of debt you have. And you know, many, many consider that there's, there's good debt and there's bad debt, but you know, they say good debts are, you know, that's a debt and that's an investment in your growth and, and bad debt, you know, that's the debt that's really holding you back. You know, in fact though, you know, all debt is bad. You know, it's just a matter of bad or worse debt. Yeah, our, our ultimate goal should be to free ourselves of the stress that de debt brings us. And you know, regardless of whether it's good or bad. The other thing to consider is not just our current level of debt, but our, but our maximum borrowing capacity and, and what level of debt we can tolerate to, to achieve our long-term goals. You know, and thirdly, it's your income. You know, income is not only important, as it will, you know, this will determine our ability to repay the loan and, and ultimately you know, borrow more money, but, but also it's important to consider you know, how we earn our income. because and this is going to affect the way we choose to invest in property. Obviously, if you're working 100 hour weeks, you, you're going to have a lot less time available than if you were living on the pension with, you know, with plenty of spare time. And finally, it's your expenses. You know, we, need to, you know, we need to consider what bills we have to pay to maintain you know, our current lifestyle. In the world of economics, they, they refer to expenditures either elastic or inelastic. And this basically means you know, how flexible your bills are. So, so you're either, you're, if, say if you're a young person living with your parents, and you ha then you're gonna have a lot more options for reducing your cost than if you're you know, supporting your partner and three kids, you know, where you have, you've got very little choice of, of how you're gonna spend your money. So, so now we know where we're at. And we, you know, now we have to think about you know, where we're going. You know, most people are focused on, on retirement. However, you know, how long we have, you know, that's gonna, it's gonna be different for different people. You know, maybe five years or, or 10 years or even, even 40 years. But for others, you know, it may be, you know, I just want to, I want to change jobs the next year. I want, to, I want to cut back my hours at work or, or take a year off. The amount of time we have to get to our goal, it's going to have a, a dramatic impact on how we're going to get there. And if you want to make it a million dollars in four years or, 
you know, that's going to take a totally different strategy than if you want to make a million dollars in 40 years. We also, we also have to be really clear on, on what our goal is. Just saying we want to retire or, or work less hours or, or take some time off, it's, it's just not clear enough. We need to consider exactly how much money we need or, or how many hours we want to work and, and have, a, have a clear vision of, of what that will mean for us. And once we have this vision of our, of our long-term goal, we can then break it down into to more achievable short-term goals, which, you know, that can set us up for the future. Okay, so, so we now know what we have to work with and, and we know where we want to go to. You know, we now we have to, we have to work out how we're going to get there. Like I said, how we're going to get there is determined by a combination of resources, you know, the resources we have to work with, with as well as how long we have to achieve it. The other thing I haven't mentioned so far is a risk. You know, the more you want to make and the less time you have to make it, you know, the more risk you may have to take. It's important when considering your options, you know, you do it with your eyes open and not just, not just look at all, you know, not just look at the upside, but, but also what happens if it all goes wrong. You know, all, all too often I talk to people that they only consider what the outcome will be when everything goes according to plan. But it's sometimes my job to consider what happens if it doesn't go a pulling plan. You know, what's our plan B? You know, your level of risk is it's not only determined by the investment itself, but also your level of experience. You know, an investment can be considered risky for someone who's never done a development before, but but for me, it may it may not be risky at all since I've done I've done heaps of developments. Unfortunately, though, you know, risk is something that can be overcome by investing in experienced mentors to guide you through the process to ensure. You know, all possible scenarios, you know, both good and bad, have been considered and you know, any risk have been minimized. And this is prior to starting. Okay, so, so how are we going to get there? The first strategy for creating value in property is to renovate the property. You know, I've done heaps of renovations over the years and the main thing I've learned you know, after all these years is that you know, renovating is just not for me. Firstly, I'm not a tradie and I don't want to be a tradie. You know, it's just not something that I really enjoy doing. And I know that there are millions of people out there watching renovating shows dreaming of renovating house but but when you actually do it you know you just you just realize it's a lot of hard work and once you start there are just so many things that can go wrong and and cause cost and time blowouts and you know just creating a heap of stress and you might say well that's okay i'm just going to pay someone to do it all for me and although well they can pay someone to do the work you know unless the job is big enough you know, to really justify the cost of a site supervisor, then, then you're gonna need you're gonna need to be over you're gonna be there to you're gonna need to oversee the work. And if if you're standing there watching somebody else work, you you might as well do the work, you know, do at least some of the work yourself. And before you know it, you're gonna be you're gonna be painting and, and digging holes or you know, whatever. You know, just so th anyway, this is just not my thing. You know, how this doesn't this doesn't mean that you can't add value to a property by renovating. So I I'm saying you shouldn't, you shouldn't disregard it as an option. You just need to be aware that it is going to take some work. And the second option for creating value is buying a block of land or, or subdividing, creating a new block of land and then, and then building a new home on it. The reason this creates value is generally the cost of, cost of the land plus the cost of the house is usually cheaper than the price of the completed home. This means that you know, once it's built, you have equity in it straight away. You know, I, call this, I call this the developer's discount. The reason I, re I, you know, I prefer this option to renovating is because you know, you're starting with a clean slate. And the builder should be able to give you a realistic estimate of what it costs to build. And once you've bought the land, you know, decided on the plans and, and picked out the doorknobs and, and taps, then you don't, you, don't really, you don't really need to do too much else but sit back and watch the house be built. You know, as well as the developer's discount, you know, building has some other benefits such as you know, you've got savings on stamp duty, you, you get a brand new house, so, you, so you're going to have less maintenance costs and you're going to have a warranty on the house. So if anything goes wrong, you can just you know, call the builder up and get it fixed. And the fact that you've got a brand new house and you know, you're more likely to have a better quality tenant. You know, and then you're more likely to, you know, they're probably more likely to pay higher rent and they're going to maybe treat the house as if, you know, maybe treat it as if they're its own. And then, and then maybe they're going to stay a bit longer. So financially, there's, there's a heap of benefits to building. So the third option is, is subdividing. This is something that most people I talk to are pretty interested in. And, but the thing is, most people I talk to assume that developers, they always make money. 
and ultimately see a lot of developers who who either don't make money or and particularly mum and dad developers who they're just starting out you know it can it can all go wrong and it, and it can all go wrong in a really big way the thing the thing I really like about developing is you don't really do that much you might only do maybe 80 hours work over the course of the development and it may result in you making you know tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars so if you work that back to an hourly rate you know you can earn some pretty crazy money the problem is the problem is you need to invest some serious money to develop a property you need say 20 percent up front to purchase you know to buy the development side and then you need you know five percent for the stamp duty and then you need to pay for the demolition and the subdivision and all the interest costs and you know, say you may be talking hundreds of thousands of dollars you know just to get started and when you're investing this sort of money it's really important to not make any mistakes but unfortunately you know when you're starting out the only way to learn is from you know it's from trial and error so you can see now why i say you know when i first started out i risked everything on every development and just how lucky i was i was you know, able to scrape through some some pretty close calls this is why when you're starting out it's vital to get a second opinion from from someone who's risked their own money and and you can learn from their mistakes you know, so you don't have to so the you know the benefits of developing are obvious but it's 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 almost it's like you can create value out of nothing you know assuming you buy at the right price and price and can overcome all the risks and and then sell at the right price so I'm sure you're saying, well, this, you know, this sounds awesome. Let's do it. But you know, before we can achieve our goals, we're missing one piece of the puzzle. And that's to consider not only how we can create value in the you know, short-term value, but, but how we can create long-term value. You know, ultimately, this is how we're going to get to, you know, to where you want to go. Now, I'm sure that most of you have heard of the idea of you know, property doubles in value every 10 years. But you know, think to remember that although there are examples of where this is the case, when most people talk about it, they're, they're talking about over the very long term. You know, property rarely goes up evenly over time. It, it may do nothing for a few years and there's a quick jump and then it'll, it'll cool off for a little while and, you know, and then do nothing for a few years and then, then it'll kick up again. You know, the thing is, it's really hard to predict what the market's going to do in the short term. In the short term, the price of property is determined by, you know, it's determined by people's perceptions of what the market's going to do. So if people think the price is going to go up, then it's probably going to go up. And if they you know, think it's going to go down, then it's probably going to go down. But in the long term, the property market is determined by supply and demand, which means that, that you know, where there's lots of demand and not much supply, then prices are probably going to go up. You know, or vice versa, if there's lots of supply and not much demand, then, then prices are probably going to go down or, or maybe not go up so quickly. The important thing to remember that in the, in the short term, the market may can go up it can go up and down for almost no reason. But in the long run, it's going to be determined by supply and demand. So almost, although we can't control what happens in the short term, we can make decisions in the long run, which will align with the principles of supply and demand. So we can, you know, we can also benefit from long-term capital gains. You know, many, many people, they seem to, seem to really struggle to, to get property work for them. You know, they either focus on short-term goals by, by renovating, building, or developing, or they, they just they focus on long-term goals by you know, buying and holding on to properties and then just make, waiting for the market to go up. But the true value of property can only really be achieved by a blend of both, which you know, results in the additional value from, from the development, allowing you to buy and hold more properties, which results in, in capital gains, which allows for more funds to create more value from, from the development. And then you know, it all just starts to build on itself. But to be honest, you know, where me, most people go wrong is they're doing none of what I've talked about so far. You know, they say they want to do it, they, but they literally have no idea how easy it is. Or they've bought one property and they've done nothing else. Or, or they've got themselves into trouble and they've decided it's you know, never again. The secret to property is to do something. You know, as I explained before, it's a combination of not only short-term goals, but, but building on the short-term value to create long-term gains. It's the long-term gains which, you know, they consolidate our, our short-term gains and allow us to make more short-term gains, which allow us to make more long-term gains. You know, it's just, it just becomes a self-perpetuating cycle that, you know, you can start to build on itself. You not only have one property, but you have, you know, two and, and then four and then eight and then 16 or two. At some point in time, when you want to retire, 
you can sell half of these properties and then pay down the debt in the others. So you can, you can live the, you live off the income of these properties, you know, debt free. So this is the point where you, you start to achieve everything you've ever wanted. But, but to make this happen, you, you need a plan and you need time to create it. And the earlier you start, you know, the sooner you can make it happen. So at the start that, you know, I said that I didn't want to talk to you about just about theory. You know, I want, I want to go into detail about how you go about building yourself a multi-million dollar property portfolio. And as I said before, you know, property investors, they don't depend on luck or chance to, to make money. They, they have a system for, for making money from property designed to eliminate the element of risk from investing in, in, in property. You know, it's literally taken me more than a decade to test and refine my strategy to the point that you know, I know it works and I know it can work for you. you know, I call it the oak principle because you know, I've modeled it on an oak tree. You know, so what's an oak tree got to do with taking control of your life and, you know, and building a multi-million dollar property portfolio? Well, the strength of the tree comes from its root system. Just like the strength of your property portfolio is built on the foundation that set it in place before you start investing. You know, this principle is about, you know, it's not about making a quick buck today, but you know, it's going to be gone tomorrow. You know, just as an oak tree can last hundreds of years, we, we want to build a strong base, which, which will not only create financial security for you, but also, but also for your kids and, and their kids. You know, from the surface, it, you know, it appears as if there's you know, nothing happening, but it's in these initial stages, you know, they're crucial to creating a lasting legacy. At this first stage, there, there are four steps. You know, the first step is to, to analyze your existing structure, to, to consider not only your financial position, but also, also your borrowing capacity and, and the time you can commit to make, you know, to the investing strategy. And the second step is to, to educate yourself, you know, to, to all the options that are possible. You know, whether that's going to be renovation or, or building or, or developing or, or buy and hold or, or a combination of all these. And the third step is to examine these options, to determine, you know, which of these options are they're right for you. Because it's great to say, you know, that you can make all this money and retire, you know, to retire rich. But, but if you're massively stressed and, and you can't sleep at night, then, you know, it's just not going to work. And finally, we can decide on a direction. You can map out a clear plan from, from, from getting you where you are right now to, to where you want to be. So once the root system is spread out in hundreds of directions and you know, we have a strong foundation from, and you know, we've laid a strong foundation, you know, all, all the trees resources are then intensely focused on building, building a strong trunk. Just like the oak tree, you know, once we've built a strong structure and, and, you know, educate and examine our options, you know, we, and we can then define a clear direction for all of our energy and all our resources then can be, can be directed towards one common goal. You know, this path, it may be different depending on your starting point. Like I said, it may be focused on renovation or development or investing or, or maybe, maybe even setting up joint ventures, you know, with other developers. You know, whichever path is right for you, the most important thing is to lay the ground, groundwork and, and build on it with intense focus. You know, the second stage I refer to is, you know, it's, it's about developing a, a clear approach. You know, it involves three steps. You know, the first step is to act. You know, to be honest, this is where most people go wrong. They know they should invest in property. You know, they've read a book or gone to a seminar and, or they've seen their friends do it, but for some reason they, they just haven't taken that step to make it happen. Without action, you, you're never going to be able to develop your skills and experience that comes from, you know, from actually doing it. And once you've done it once, you can do it again and again, you know, until you, until you get, then you get to the second step when you can, you can look at refining your strategy. You know, this is where you improve and evolve your strategy to, to ensure you're getting the best possible return for the, for the least amount of effort. And the final step is, you know, this is going to happen without even trying really. It's, it's to develop a team. You know, your team could be made up of your accountant, your, your real estate agent, your lawyer, your, your survivor. It could be tens or even hundreds of people that can, you know, people that you know and trust that you can rely on to give you the advice, you know, give you advice whenever you need it. 
And the amazing thing about having a team around you is not only, you know, they can give you advice and, and do a lot of work for you, but they also, they can, they can fast track your process, you know, progress. So, you know, you no longer have to learn from trial and error because you can leverage off their experience and knowledge. And so you can learn from their trial and error or even their clients trial and error. The value of this worth is, is so much more than the cost of their services because when you're dealing with, you know, one property mistake, you know, it could cost you tens of, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, or it could even ruin you. So by focusing on, on a clear path forward, you can, you be able to build on your skills and knowledge and, you know, your support network and, and your resources to, you know, it becomes a force, you know, a force that can't be stopped regardless of the environment. Only after establishing, establishing a strong root system and focusing on building a strong trunk, you know, the oak tree, the oak tree then begins to branch out in all directions. When you hear of property investors losing everything, it's either, it's either because they didn't have a strong foundation or, or because they branched out before they were ready. The reason the oak trees, you know, they can live for hundreds of years, you know, throughout generations is, you know, is the massive canopy. It doesn't begin to expand until it's, it can stand on a strong and, and stable base. Depending on your starting point and the, your level of knowledge and experience, for, you know, some will be able to branch out you know, sooner than others. But the key, the key is to master or master one strategy before branching out in a, you know, into the final stage where I mean, you, this is where you've attained true knowledge. You know, the, final, the final stage is built upon five steps. The first step, once, you, once you've achieved that strong foundation to you know, to support your portfolio is to diversify into other strategies such as, you know, developments or commercial or industrial. And the next step is to repeat, you know, to build skills in, in a new area or, or develop new expertise. And the third step is to expand your portfolio into other areas to broaden your investment strategy and, and open yourself up to new opportunities. And it's only once, it's only once we've truly diversified your portfolio that we can then, we can then be in a position to be able to adapt to the market. You know, the potential for this you know, can't be overstated. It's only, it's only when you've developed a range of skills and experience and you've diversified your property portfolio that you can then be able to build momentum and, and move with the market. You're not just trying to fight against it. It's at this point when you not only become immune to market movements, but you actually begin to look forward to them. You know, as you, You'll be able to adapt your, pro, your strategy to, to profit whether the market's going up or, or even if it's going down. Many people don't know that you know, oak trees, they don't actually create acorns and, until they're fully mature. And this, you know, this may not be for 20 years. You know, there, there's some oak trees that don't generate an acorn for 50 years. Now, I'm not, just, I'm not saying it needs to take you 50 years to build a multi-million dollar property portfolio, but... But once you have, once you build a strong foundation, you know, become an expert at one strategy, then, then leverage off this knowledge to diversify into, diversify into other strategies. You can, you can then build a, a legacy, you know, which, which you can not only pass down to your kids, but then they can pass down to their kids. So my promise to you at the start of this webinar was to, to show you that there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and show you how, and show you how you can go from just getting by to, to be in control of your own destiny. So you can do what you want, when you want, and, and set your family up for the lifestyle that they deserve. So far, we've gone through a lot of theory, and you know, that theory, you know, that's gonna to apply to 99% of people. Now, in your situation, it's, you know, it's not that unique that, that this approach won't work for you. It's more about, it's more about how, you, how you're specifically gonna implement it. I want you to know that you know, whatever your challenges are, you know, I've seen it before. And I, I know how we can overcome them. So I've developed a program, you know, based on the Oak principle to take people step by step through this proven method for creating wealth. So they can, they can work less, earn more and create a passive income to set themselves up for retirement. So wherever you are right now, I want you to know that, that we can get you to where you want to go. So what do you get in the Oak program? You know, you can, you can literally save years of your life and, and a quarter of a million dollars in training. You know, I've done more than 5,000 hours of study. I've done a Bachelor of Economics, Bachelor of Commerce, you know, postgraduate in accounting. I've done the diploma in finance and real estate and building. I've, 
I've listened to thousands of hours of podcasts, read hundreds of books, you know, I've been to hundreds of hours of seminars and webinars. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in mentoring. So even if you're, you know, twice as smart as me, you can do it half the amount of time. You're still going to be spending, you know, six years and, and, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get to where I've got right now. But also you get my experience. You know, I've done thousands of property transactions. I've been involved in, in hundreds of developments. You know, I've built hundreds of houses for clients. But not only that, you can also learn how to, how to systemize and automate and delegate you know, your knowledge and experience so that you don't have to do work so hard in the future. But also you get, you get access to my team. You know, there's no obligation to use my team, but, but I've spent the last 15 years building a network of tradespeople, accountants and, and lawyers and surveyors and hydrological engineers and, you know, but as well as that, you know, you get, you also get my network of developers and, and sophisticated investors who, who then we can, you know, we can draw on and, and who I trust and depend on. But also you get, you get to avoid painful mistakes. You know, people have paid me, you know, literally paid me thousands of dollars to assess their development for me to tell them that they shouldn't do anything. And they've been, they've been so grateful they've spent that money and, and saved themselves hundreds of thousands of dollars. But also you get to know exactly what to do. You know, I've taken everything that's important from, from thousands of hours of study and, and 20 years of um, work and I've, I've broken it down to, to a 12 month program. You're going to learn everything you need to know to, to achieving your goals, whether that's your mindset or, or finance or investing or renovation or subdivision, whatever it is, you're going to learn it all. But you also, you get to bounce questions off someone who's been there and done that. You know, you don't, you don't need to learn from trial and error. You know, this, this can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And also you get a non-emotion based answer to everything. You know, I, I don't have an agenda. You know, I'm not your parents. I'm not your partner. I'm not your friends. I'm not your mortgage broker. I'm not your financial planner, your accountant, your real estate agent, your, your builder. You know, I'm going to tell you what's best for you and not what's best for me. But also importantly, I, you, you get held accountable. You know, I want you on board. I, I really want this, but you know, I've smashed myself to get to where I am. So so I take it really seriously. And when I pass this knowledge on to another person, you know, nothing frustrates me more than seeing people given an opportunity and then not taking advantage of it. Now you get my system to learn exactly what works yeah, without all the rubbish. You know, I've only got 12 months to bring you up to speed on everything I've learned over the last 20 years. So, so I'm, I'm going to go really fast and focus on only the things that matter. So, so you get your goals faster and with less stress. You know, the emotional toll that this has had on me over the years, you know, it can't be overstated. You know, the, the effect it's had on my family, on my friends and my relationships, you know, it's been significant. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want you to go through the pain that I've been through to get to where I am right now. You know, I, I get you out of your problem. You know, what price do you put on setting yourself up financially so, so you can live the life on your terms, live your life on your terms and, and also just you know, plan for your family's future. I'm not just talking about you, I'm talking about setting, setting up your kids and your kids' kids. You're know, creating, creating a legacy for future generations. You know, what value do you put on building a multi-million dollar property portfolio so you can you know so you can retire and, and spend more time with your family so what's in my program the first step is that there's the seed system which is structure you know consolidating and refining your existing financial structure and then secondly you know educating yourself so that's a it's an intensive 12-week program and then then we examine and we assess your, your current financial situation determine your borrowing power and then then we you know, then we map out a complete solution to get you from where you are right now to where you want to be. And then we develop a tailored approach. You know, we, we act, you know, I, I then provide support and guidance so you can start to implement your knowledge. And then we can refine and 
evolve our strategy and you know this is going to it's going to adapt and change as, as as our parameters change and then i'm going to assist you with building a team of experts you know so they can they can provide you with support and guidance and then and then we can really build knowledge you know we can diversify and branch out other strategies or you know we can start to build on our strong capital cap base you know using our, our knowledge and experience and and then we can leverage our existing assets to build our portfolio and and finally we can we can consolidate and safeguard it you know it's at this point we can really start to build momentum and and then we can look at systemizing and and automating so then we can start to scale it up so so all these things I've talked about, you know, everything, this whole 12 month program, my cost for this whole program is $11,997. But, but on top of that, I'm also gonna offer a weekly one-on-one -on -one for the first three months. Now that's a one-on-one -on -one with me directly that we can talk specifically about your issues. And then after the first three months, we're gonna have a monthly one-on-one. -on -one. Because once you, that first three months is important to, to set yourself up and get yourself started. And after that, it's really just about me, you know, making sure you're on track. But on top of that, just so you can answer any questions you've got along the way, we're also going to have a weekly webinar where all the people in the program can get on there and log in and ask their questions. And, and then I can answer your question, but also I can answer other people's questions. So you get to learn from other people as well. But, then, but also other people can get on there and respond and, and give you feedback and answers to your questions. And I'm going to also create a Facebook group. This is a closed Facebook group. So it's only people that are part of the program. And this is where you log in and, and ask your questions for, for the weekly webinar. But also you can ask questions to other people who are part of the group. Because at the end of the day, you know, I, I know lots of things, but I know everything. You know, and there's going to be people that have experience and knowledge about other things that they can give their ideas and you know, recommendations to you know, retaining wall guy or a fencing guy or, or a whole pile of different things. So we can all learn from, from each other and, and build, really build a community. And you're also gonna get 24 seven email access to, to discuss these issues. So you can send me an email and I can either respond back in, in the weekly webinar or in our one-on-ones or if it's important, I can give you a call or, or respond to your email or whatever. So yeah, and on top of that, you're also gonna get a success journal. It's gonna map out the plan for you. And you're gonna get templates templates of, of, you know, heaps of different things you need to think about or also checklists on, on things you need to make sure you've covered. But the reason I like to do this is via webinar and also do, you know, like Skype and a whole pile of different things. So then we can record everything we talked about. So if you've missed anything you can go back and, and watch it again, or as many times as you want it, or even if, you know, if you can't make a session, you can, you can always, I can always record it and you can watch it another time. But importantly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to develop your own property assessments. These property assessments is what I do for people all the time, where I actually look at their property and look out how they can you know, maximize the, the best value when they go to sell their property. You know, I'm gonna teach you how to do it yourself. I currently charge people money for that, but you're gonna learn how to do it for yourself. So you can do it as many times as you want. But the other thing I do for people is something called a property profit report. This is where I analyze their property and, and work out how they can maximize you know, the return from their property, whether that's developing or renovating or, or subdividing or, or there's a whole pile of different options. I go through everything and I do a, it's a couple of hundred pages of information I go through. I charge people a thousand dollars now to do that. You know, I'm going to teach you how to do that yourself. So you'll be able to do that on whatever property you want. You know, and that's going to be worth thousands of dollars, you know, depending on how many times you do it for yourself. But I'm also, I'm also going to act as your, your personal finance consultant. You know, I'm, I, don't have to, I don't have to be your mortgage broker, but you can use me as a second opinion. You can use your own mortgage broker and then bounce ideas off of me just to make sure that, you know, you're making your, your broker accountable. He's giving you the right advice. But I can also act as your, your buyer's advocate. You know, I can hold your hand through the buying process. You know, I, don't, I can be a buyer's agent where I, I help you negotiate and that's what I do for clients now and I, I charge the money to do that. Um, but, you know, you can still go and do that negotiating stuff yourself, but you can just give me a call and I can help give you some tips and advice on the best way to try and try and get the best value for money. And like I said, I, I normally charge people 10 grand to do that now. Um, you know, literally I, most people don't get concerned about charging me, charging them money to negotiate because, because the amount of money I save them is so much more than the amount of money I, I cost you. So my advice to you 
it's, it's going to be so much more valuable to you than this program. And also what I'm going to do is act as your sales consultant. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I can act as your real estate agent and I can be your real estate agent and I obviously get paid a commission to do that. But, um, I can just give you tips on how to try and sell your house, you know, and you can either decide to sell it yourself or you can obviously engage a real estate agent, but whether that's me or another real estate agent, I can give you the best way to try and sell your house for the most amount of money in the shortest possible time. But I'm going to, I'm going to also be your personal development consultant. You know, if you're going through the process of, of subdividing, you know, what, what do you need to think about? What, what's the stages, you know, what's next? What do I have to consider to make sure I get, don't get myself into trouble? You know, I, I charge people, you know, at least $5,000 or, or, you know, more to manage the process of subdividing for and act as their project manager, I suppose. You know, I'm going to teach you how to do that yourself. All the things you need to think about. So obviously if you just do one development, that's worth five grand. But if you do, you know, 10 developments, that's worth 50 grand. So this is the thing, the value in this is so much more, the more times you do it. And finally, I'm going to give you access to joint venture opportunities. You know, this, this is going to allow, you know, in a situation you can go out and source joint venture, you know, source development sites and then pass it through to a developer, you know, and really the limit is, is up to you, up to your own possibilities, I suppose. Really, if you find a development site that's worth a hundred grand, why wouldn't a developer pay you, you know, five grand just to refer it through to them? If you're going to find a development site that's worth a million, you know, how much is the developer going to pay you for, to, to source that development? So, so the total value of, of all these things is well in excess of $79,000. Yeah, and my program is going to give you all these plus all these bonuses for just $11,997. You know, honestly, earning money from this program is not my main focus. You know, my goal is to train a group of people with, with the knowledge you know, skills and expertise. So, so we can work together to form, and then we can form joint ventures as, as this is where we have the greatest potential to, is, you know, this is where we can earn massive returns, not just for you, but also for me. But I want to make sure, I want to make sure that those who enroll are laser focused on achieving their goals and they're, you know, they're committed to making this happen. In my experience, no one values free advice. And Without making a financial commitment, people rarely, they rarely follow through. And initially, I'm really only focused on training up to five people. However, I'm looking for working, you know, I want to work with them going forward and I, I really want to make sure that they're, you know, they're the right fit. Because achieving success with these people, it's more important than the cost of the course. You know, my intention is to use these people as examples of, you know, this is what's possible by, by following my investing principles. And I think, I think there's no better form of marketing than proven results and proving success for those that have been through the program. Because you know, the success of these initial few people is my highest priority. You know, I'm initially gonna, you know, because of this, I'm initially gonna be very particular on who joins the program. So I suppose I better outline who I'm looking for. Firstly, you, know, you may need to reconsider everything you thought you knew about making money from property. You, know, you need to open your eyes to, to, to a new way of looking at things. You know, for some of you, this is, you know, this is going to be very difficult. You know, after years of being locked in a room with, with no escape, you know, it can be terrifying when someone unlocks a door. You know, it can take enormous bravery to take that first step. But once you do, you wonder you know, why you've stayed there for so long. And secondly, you, you must be an action taker. If you want to kick tires or just chat about property and, and not follow through, then you know, this is not for you. Achieving success for my clients is very important to me. So you need to be someone who is willing to learn and, and serious about getting results. And that's it. So if we meet both these requirements, you know, then we're all good. So only for those of you who, who fit the criteria and, of what I'm looking for, and I'm gonna offer the complete program plus all the bonuses for just $5,997. One extra thing to get you started, you know, you're gonna need access to the data that the professionals use to analyze the market, and you know, otherwise you're gonna be acting in a distinct disadvantage to other investors. 
So I'm going to include access to the core logic or, or RP data software, which is Australia's most, you know, most comprehensive source of, of property data and insights and analytics, which you know, I personally spend $6,000 per year for an annual subscription. You know, no serious investor would even think about investing without access to the software. So if you're, if you're thinking about purchasing the software, then you can essentially do this and get my complete program and all the bonuses for free. Now it's time to, it's time to make a decision. And I want you guys to freely choose. You know, my team and I have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you personally about how you can apply some of these ideas we've just talked about and how to get to where you want to be. So if you're interested, I'll, I'll get you to book a, a quick 10 minute call for me to ask you a few questions so I can get to know you a bit more. But you know, if we seem like a fit, then I'm going to book another call where we can talk for longer and then go into more detail about the process and what's involved. In our session together, we're not only going to discuss you know, your situation right now and, and where you want to get to, but we're going to, we're going to begin sketching out a plan for the best way to get you there. After our discussion, you can, you know, you'll begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then I want to give you a roadmap for how you can implement a strategy so, so we can craft the perfect plan for achieving your goals. You know, we're going to have a conversation with you to discuss not only what I've, what I've shared with you today, but, but how it can apply to you. Okay, so I want to share with you, share with you how you can apply. You know, there's going to be a link below and I want you to click on the link below and that's, that's going to take you to organizing an appointment with my team. But before we finish, and you know, before we finish, I want to leave you this. I want to leave you with this. You know, when I started developing property 12 years ago, I, I started on this journey. You know, I just left my job as an accountant. I was taking on this massive risk and I, I just kept taking massive risks. You know, over and over and over again. Some nights I would come home and I'd wonder, you know, how am I going to get through this? Sometimes I literally had no idea what I was doing. You know, like I, it was like I learned everything the, the hard way. You know, I'd learned the hard way in everything. You know, I'd learned the, the slow, hard, long, expensive way. And even when I'm sitting here, I know, I know you guys are sitting on a webinar, but I'm literally talking to myself. You know, I wish, I wish someone had reached out to me and said, you know, I'll show you step by step how to create value from property and then, then build on it to not only set myself up, but to set my family up for the future. You know, future that we deserve without all the risk of, and stress of, of having a risk at all. I wish I'd had someone who'd found me and told me how I could do it. You know, then I wouldn't have had to spend 12 years you know, trying to work it out on my own. But in the end, you know, it happened the way I did. And now I've, you know, now I've got a really solid understanding of what it takes. And not only that, but, I, but I'm now lacking enough to teach others and, and literally change people's lives. And you know, for me, it's awesome. You know, it's really rewarding. It's, it's allowed me to, to live a life that I want and to, to help others and, and help others achieve their goals. So I just want to thank you and you know, if you made it this far through the webinar, hopefully you found it interesting. And I, I want to encourage you to reach out and, and see how this might apply to you and, and how you can achieve your goals. And I want to thank you for your time today because I know that everyone is really busy and you know, we never have enough time. But, but I truly believe the time we spent today you know, is going to make a difference. And I wish you all the best in, on your journey. And for those that get in touch, I'm, I'm really excited about the next steps. And for everyone else, you can, you can check out my website, and, which it has got heaps of articles and video blogs and guides. You know, it's going to guide you through a whole range of topics. And hopefully then you, you know, you're going to minimize some of your chances of making too many mistakes along the way. So thanks so much for being here, and I look forward to catching you guys soon. Thanks, guys.